the silent meditation retreat was a very profound experience for me. I learned many lessons and tools that I plan on applying to my daily life. It's been very strong for me having had so many issues beforehand being disturbed by others not being able to focus in the present beating myself up about up about the past but it's so it's coming so easy now to be able to when somebody is bothering me to be able to close my eyes and simply think pure joy is total acceptance and it really works for me and because of that I just feel blessed by what was done here what what happened here and by Ajay's and Suruji's teachings I would like to deeply thank them for everything they gave me I feel ready to go into what I consider a turbulent, chaotic world and ground myself to really focus now on attaining peaceful completeness. I'm ready. I've been given the tools and now I'm going there. And I just the silence was great for me. For the first time in my life I learned how to meditate properly. I learned how to clear my mind and silence everything and go deeper within myself. And at first it was difficult, but with time I came to enjoy it very much. Although I'd have to say that I do not like or dislike it, I simply accept it. And I feel renewed, refreshed, and ready to go out there and keep myself myself. Thank you, Aj, and thank you, Suji. From here, McLeod Gans, uh, home of the Dalai Lama, I have to say that uh, this retreat was absolutely amazing. Not only for me, but this group that I'm with. Uh, I'm with a beautiful organization called Leap Now, and uh, the students that you've been watching are uh, part of these uh, program students. And um, I have to say that uh, watching the growth happen, well, not only within myself, but within the students over the last five and a half days of silence, is profound. It is the vital element to what has been missing in this group and you know within a lot of us as individuals who are really seeking out who we are and um, the tools and the lessons and the compassion and the love and the space provided here and held for us here in retreat has been you know, uh, so far beyond words that I couldn't really express my gratitude. I could say though that uh, my own personal experience was truly amazing. For somebody that's been meditating for a long time, I've been able to um, already incorporate these methods into my own practice, into my own world uh, on a daily basis, on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. It's becoming more and more of, of a reality for me to be living in uh, really a sense of observance and, and understanding. And really what this method is, it is, it is the path of knowledge. And But more than that, it's also a balance between love and devotion for who we are and becoming who we are as well as the, the light of understanding that you know can shed so much understanding upon all the things that we get wrapped up in within our own minds and so I, uh, I would suggest this to everybody in fact I think if the whole world could do a retreat this retreat or a retreat like it that we would live in a, a much more beautiful place but uh, as it is Zoom meditation is it's highly recommended from somebody that's been out there, has been exploring and tried different methods. And um, thank you. Thank you for the invitation. 
I have a lot of appreciation for the Zoom meditation experience. Uh, it's a very compassionate and comprehensive system, and I feel like it's a great opening both for people who have been meditating for a long time and people that are just trying to start meditating or just live in a more intentional way and be more intentional with their thoughts, actions, words, and energies. And that's an incredibly valuable thing in the world. And I feel like Suruchi and Anjay are doing work that is really about peace. And so I have a lot of appreciation for that and a lot of appreciation for the inspiration that I have received from them as teachers. The things that the Z Meditation Center taught me were all things that I already knew. They taught me things people have been telling me my entire life, and I've always thought of them as wise words, and I've never really listened to them because I just I never took the time to think about it or try to apply it to my life. But having a week of silence to just sit there and think about nothing else was so powerful for me. I really, really came to something, a conclusion that is going to help me in the rest of my life, and I'm very grateful for that. I am very thankful to Ajay and Sarichi for giving me the tools to take control of my life, and also the courage to let go of control over others, which is not real, it's an illusion. And I feel like every time I sit down on my meditation cushion, I <laughs> am affirming the freedom that is within my grasp. Thank you. Uh, I love living in silence, and I didn't think that I would. Uh, I thought I would struggle with it, and it was really the easiest part of the whole retreat. The harder part was going within and trying to weed out the thoughts so that I could reach a better state. And there were moments of clarity, and they were beautiful and wonderful, and I am very grateful to the Z Meditation Center. I'm really thankful to Z Meditation for giving me the skills and teaching me how to be happy and also teaching me meditation and I went so far to the extent of knowing nothing about meditation to in one session being so happy that I've had tears of joy coming down my face and I'm really thankful to Z Meditation. Thank you.